Joji just dropped his new album recently called Smithereens. Ah, what a funny name for an album. The album name itself, dude. What the fuck, it's so uncreative. It sounds like a satire album made by mumble rappers, and I fucking hate it. I already listened to the entire album, and oh my fucking god, do I regret being a Joji fan. This is the album that fucking made me hate Joji. So yeah, let's get started. So the first track is basically Glimpse of Us, and it fucking sucks. You think it's cool? Like, it would've been like... Would have been like better if it had like drums and yeah all of that bullshit. They recorded a music video unrelated to the fucking song. Like literally, what the fuck does this mean? I feel like they were high on drugs while they're producing this fucking song. Duh, there's no doubt about that. I don't need to verify. It. There's a high chance that it's true. But yeah, because of the music video, like Joji's version of Glimpse of Us got age restricted. But yeah, people who is below 18 years old were forced to listen to 88 Rising's version of Glimpse of Us. And surprisingly enough, it garnered more views. Like, yeah, he likes to hit high notes. Like, wanted you, fucking, so fucking high. I can't even reach that high. He can't even reach that high, and he fucking made the song. Like, do you care that Joji uploaded trash? Of course, no. This the internet. Nobody gives a shit around in here. Feeling like the end. Yeah, that track is a fucking disappointment. Yeah, the title fits perfectly. Whenever you listen to it, you feel like it's the end of the world. Uh, yeah, also, it's 1 minute and 50 seconds long. I feel like this album is fucking rushed. Like, Joji didn't upload an album for like 2 years, and he gave us this. Like, wow, I don't, I don't fucking know why I support this musician. Die for you. No, I'm just gonna say it for every track, like, oh, this sucks, oh, this sucks, oh, this sucks. I, I shut the fuck up. I like, die for you. It's, it, it's a fucking song about, like, you know, fucking emoism shit that I'm too much of a chad to understand. Dude, if you're just depressed, you just fucking kill yourself. Like, killing yourself will only take a minute before the day is over. Yeah, it's a fucking song about a breakup. Like, you cannot, like, you can't let, like, you cannot let your partner go. You don't want her to go. Yeah, before the day is over, you need to be beside her. Oh, I like that kind of bullshit. It's like a fucking autistic Discord user who is spamming gifts all over the place because he found out that he only has one day worth of Nitro left. That, that, that's basically die for you in a nutshell. Okay, uh, fucking shit. This fucking track. This all. I don't know what the fuck does this track mean. Uh, I, it, it's, uh, it almost sounds like a fucking mumble rap. Like, I couldn't comprehend anything. Dude. What the fuck happened to your voice? I can't understand a single word on this fucking track. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip it. Knight Rider. It's so short that I don't even know the fucking context of this song. So yeah, I'm just gonna say that it sucks. Yeah, it's a fucking permanent waste. So yeah, let's just move on. The worst track on the album has to be blah 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 demo. Like just come on. You can't deny that fact. The reason it's gonna be only top 10 of your most favorite album list is because of that song. It's only gonna be on top 10. It will never reach the top 5s because of blah 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 demo. Like, the, the song is too short. It almost doesn't make any sense. Literally, it's fucking generic. Now, let's talk about Yukon. The, the fucking tone is so fucking generic. Like, like, like the first line, like, and my eyes get low in that all white truck, I can barely see shit. It's, it's listen to Yukon by Joji and listen to Thinking About Loud by Ed Sheeran simultaneously. And oh my god, you will notice the similarities between those two songs today, dude. Music sounds the same. Okay, what about the final track of the album? I fucking hate this track, actually. Like, they started the album with a fucking garbage track, and they will end it with another garbage. Can't you at least be decent? It's not, it's not that my standards are too high, it's because your fucking quality is so low. Please improve. 1am freestyle. I feel like Joji lost from a game of rock, paper, scissors, and he lost that game, and he was forced to make this song within 10 minutes because his friends told him to do so. Yeah, that's, my, that's my opinion of the entire album. If I'm gonna rate this, like, how much, then I'll, I'd rate this 1 out of 10. I won't even rate it, to be honest. You're lucky that I'm rating it right now. You're lucky that I'm actually giving a fuck. I mean, yeah, I, I fucking hate this album. Like, I don't even respect it enough to hate it. But yeah, I, I'm still gonna upload this video for, for, for to, 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 like, fucking spread awareness that this fucking album sucks. And for me to warn you guys, do not listen to it because oh my fucking god, it will change your perspective on music forever. That's all. I'm gonna leave for a month again. Goodbye, you fucking nerd.